Hey, how's it going you guys? I'm Landon and welcome back to a brand new video. I miss every single one of you guys. Okay, so this video, uh, there, there's a lot of trickery going on. So we all like to go shopping, right? And spend our money on things that we love. Lately, it seems like everyone has been spending their money on fidget spinners. Well, one of the ways companies are able to get us to buy their products, their, their things, is through advertising, whether it's on TV, billboards, celebrities shouting out products, you know, endorsing it. There are many different ways to promote a product to get people excited about buying something. Well, sometimes companies like to trick you with what I call, you know, too good of a deal. You know the saying, too good to be true, so you must question it. So this right here is the top 10 craziest ways companies trick you. At number 10, we have this. I'm sure many of you guys seen signs like this and then think, is this real life right now? Well, it's not really real life because if you read carefully like a lawyer, because we just all seem to be lawyers, why do they even do the fine print and why do they do this kind of stuff? Well, anyways, this one says 50% off, we all know what that means. There are just a few crappy items in that store that are 50% off and then everything else just seems to be normal price or even overpriced. This is a very, very common tactic companies use to try to get customers into their store. Some people will buy things and not even realize that they didn't even get a discount on it. And then they would go home and be like, oh, it's not worth going back to return it. And then boom, the company made money. And did you guys notice that small writing on the very bottom? I mean, who knows what that hidden message even says? If you buy something, Thing from our store, we own you. Moving into number nine, take a look at this picture. Tell me if this upsets you guys. But again, another way companies trick you. This is Reese's Pieces Buttercups. You can see on top, the top one is bigger than the bottom one, but what the price uh the price stayed the same i'm sure this picture is fake it's probably photoshopped but there are actual many products out there that seem to be getting smaller but the price stays the same or even goes up companies are doing this to try to save the cost of product and materials but they're tricking customers into paying more for something less trickery Another instance is like this one at number eight. Let's talk about smart packaging for companies. This is horrible for customers. Have you guys ever bought something and then opened it up like a bag of chips or something and there's way less product than you thought that was in it? You bought it on the false assumption? Well, let me give you guys an example. I mean, half the bag of chips was just filled with air. That's why it looked so good and just filled. I'm always upset when I buy protein. I mean, they're horrible for this. The tub would be so big and it's literally half full or just a, just a little bit less than half. It's like, where's the other half? Let me know if you guys have ever experienced something like this or if you were tricked. Another great example would be cereal. They're never full. You open up that box, you open up the bag and it's like, okay. All right, number seven, advertised versus reality. You guys know where I'm going with this one, right? Have you guys ever seen amazing commercials of food? For example, it looks so damn good and then you buy Buy it and then it looks nothing like the commercial or the billboard that was promoted on you're going out with like a burger eating it and it just looks like crap and you're passing by a board it's like oh I want that but this is that what a fail. Here we have a berry loaf. On the right is the advertisement for it. And then you can see how it's nicely rounded with a ton of berries on it. And in reality, on the left one, there's only one berry. I mean, total fail. Here's a funny one. Here's a bag that is supposed to be dinosaurs in it. But if you look closely, it's just a bag of cats. I mean, ugh, really? This one is a six foot green Canadian pine tree. It looks like a decent tree, right? Well, it, it actually, this is what it turned out to be. I mean, what the heck is that? I would be super depressed for Christmas. All right, moving on to number six, gift cards. I think gift cards were a brilliant marketing tool used to make a ton of money. How many of you guys have gift cards and lose them? Every time you lose them, the company that issued the gift card just made money because you won't redeem the money on it. Also, say if you have a $20 gift card and you buy something for, let's say, $17. Most people in that case wouldn't bother with the gift card anymore because, you know, there's only $3 on it. They'll probably just lose it. There's no point in having it. Or if you want to maximize your gift card, you're going to use the gift card. But then, like, something is not $3. You buy something for $10. Well, now they win again because you're spending an additional $7. Also, what if you have, like, 20 cents left in your card? For sure, then you're not going to care at all, right? I mean, most of us, some of us. I mean, what's 20 cents? sense to you, right? Well, imagine 1 million people that thought that way. That's $200,000 that people have spent on buying gift cards and they didn't use up all their money. So again, this is a huge win for the store. Number five, some companies will try and play on your emotions for you to buy their products. Some of these mega companies have been called out for it. For example, Pepsi. You guys know that story. They were in a whole lot of heat, a whole lot of trouble. I'm talking about the commercial with Kendall Jenner in it, and it caused a lot of controversy because in the commercial, it shows protests going on, and you can see angry people, and the only way to stop it was to give people Pepsis, and it's just 
ended the protest. This commercial oversimplifies what protests are about. Sometimes people are protesting for their lives and you're saying that if you just buy a Pepsi it's all going to go away? There are many protests to allow gay marriage, to accept black people etc. These are more serious. Also recently we had the McDonald's commercial that was also taken down by McDonald's. The commercial was about a boy who lost his father and wanted to know more about him. Nothing was making him happy until he ate a McDonald's burger. His mom said that was your dad's favorite burger. So again this is making people feel like if they lost someone you should just go out to McDonald's, not, not Burger King, not Wendy's. McDonald's is the only place I can make you happy and to make all your sorrows just go away. Moving into number four, suggested sex appeal. We all know what sex appeal can do and advertisers take advantage of this. Here we have Kate Upton's Carl's Jr. commercial. I don't know if I'm watching a burger commercial or like a porno video. I mean, what's going on here? So apparently, if you like sex, you should go buy a burger. But not just from anywhere, it has to be from Carl's Jr. Carl's Jr. is known to use a lot of sex appeal while promoting their products. Here's another commercial with sex appeal. So apparently, it's a lot of people's fantasies to be eating a burger. I don't think so. I think people are just watching this commercial for the half-naked women that you always have. Alright, number three, you better buy this product now before it sells out. This is a very common tactic to trick us into buying a product very quickly. I can't tell you how many times I hear this in stores or see it online. I swear there are so many products that say you better buy it before they sell out fast and then like a year later they're still the same message and they're still selling and it's like I just don't understand. So clearly they don't understand the meaning of selling out fast. It's such trickery. This probably means you know if they have 10 t-shirts on display well you better buy these t-shirts before those 10 t-shirts sell out but when they do sell out you know they're gone they just go in the back and just restock it. So like what? It just doesn't make sense to me. So you know what, let's move on to number two. Don't be fooled by the product name. Sometimes big brands will just stick their names on crappy products just to be able to sell more of the products because they get a cut of the products, they endorse it. If it's just food or supplements, you should always read the labels to see what exactly it is. What exactly are you buying? Sometimes no name brands or similar brands have the better product. So be careful with this one. There are many celebrities who just use their star power to sell products and sometimes they probably don't even know what the product is because they just have too many of them but they know that they're making money so who cares according to them. Their manager probably says just sign here I'll get you five million dollars. I mean who wouldn't sign right? Finally at number one I probably hate this trick the most but have you guys ever witnessed price changing all the time especially when you're buying flights or hotel rooms. If you guys go to Expedia for example and search on a flight you know you want to go from let's say Toronto to Australia then you you know you don't book it you got to make other decisions okay you go back to it and you want to book it the price just raised this is a smart system that tracks what flights and tendencies you do online and the site realizes that you've been looking at this flight for a while or similar site or similar flights so they up the price on you this is why it's really important to do it incognito this will hide your internet activity so prices won't change well for the most part because I have been incognito and they still figured out a way so if you want to book something maybe do it on like a secret computer a library or something like that and when you're ready to book use your own computer. I, I don't know. Well there you guys have it. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you guys all in the next one.